hey everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the third part of the nqt exam preparation especially coding so let's get started with the first question for today i'll just take a pen from here okay okay given an array arr of n integers the task is to rewrite the array by putting all multipliers at the end of the given array okay the order of numbers which are not multipliers of 10 should remain unaltered and similarly the order of uh, numbers which are multiplier of 10 should remain uh, okay let's see the example uh, suppose n equal to 9 ar 10 uh, 12 5 40 okay you have to push all multiples of 10 again. okay i think uh, uh, the question is uh, like uh, it's uh, it's an easy level of question you can see the all the multiple of 10 that is 10 40 30 and again 10 these are moved at the end of the uh, array and the rest elements are kept and they are mentioning that the order should remain same so that's why the same 12 5 uh, 7 5 9 those are the, uh, the order remains the same again the multiples of 10 also the order remains the same okay so maybe i'll just uh, take a pad okay so for the first question um, what will be the the brute force approach here so let's uh, uh, iterate in a for loop and uh, from there let's initialize two counters one is count one another is count two one uh, will count the value of uh, multiple uh, multiples of 10 and this is non multiples okay then for the for loop we just iterate and we just compare with an if if that x element x is multiple of 10 or not based on that we increase the count this is a multiple of 10 the if condition so we will increase the count to count plus plus okay and the end we can uh, oh sorry uh, we we need to uh, store the elements as well so let's declare this count as a separate array as a brute force approach so in this i'll just erase here okay count dot add or dot append as per the language of that particular element so we have count one which is multiple of uh, 10 and we have count two which is non multiple of 10 and we need the non multiple of uh, 10 first so we'll keep count 2 plus count 1 so in this this will be the output okay so let's try to put this mm, we have uh, where is the question we have n we have array okay let's declare n which is 9 let's declare arr and 10 12 5 40 30 mm, 7 5 9 10 okay so what we said it's declared with the proper name called multiple of 10 and non multiple x in a order if x percentile 10 equal to 0 that means which is multiple of 10 then if else we keep in on multiple of 10 of x then at last we just print the corner 10 plus one. so let's try to run this uh, did we miss something here? Oh, keep multiple of 10 first. Mm, okay. Let's run this again. Yep. You see, we got the output. That is what is expected. Cool. Uh, so now, uh, if you see, we are using two space complexity, I mean, two extra additional space than the current one. So the space complexity is increasing like anything here so let's try to like avoid these uh, space complexity and uh, i think the time constantly is just order of n here anyway we need the iteration 
so let's try to at least reduce the space complexity mm, let's not declare this uh, maybe uh, let's use the pointer logic here so the pointer logics uh, what I mean is maybe I'll just open the PPT huh so this we have right array so let's declare a pointer called j equal to 0 so if j is here and when we uh, what you call when you are passing this uh, array then we'll compare uh, whether it's just a multiple of 10 or not if it's a multiple of 10 ideally it should move to the next one then the the exact the previous uh, element should move to the first one so 12 will move here and 10 will move here that we'll uh, uh, make sure with the element j and j this time will increase by 1 thus j will start from here and it will pass here because 12 is already passed so we will be having an array of 12 as the fixed so j will come here and it will go and at last all the multiples of 10 will be pushed to here and um, uh, non multiples will be kept here let's try that maybe once I write the code it will be more clear mm for x and if x percentile 10 equal to equal to 0 mm, let's keep not equal to 0 then air of oh we need indexes here so maybe for i in range of n we have n right yeah and air of i air of i comma air of j will replace with air of j comma air of i and we'll make sure to increase the j and we don't need this else part and at the end it should be an arr let's see yep you see so what is happening is that if it's not a multiple of 10 okay that's what we are concerned if it's not a multiple of 10 then the value uh, array of i which is the current element should be transferred to the j okay a array of j and j is currently 0 so 12 will remain here uh, sorry if I take it here so 10 and 12 right if it it's it's a multiple of 10 so it will has to go to the next and 12 will co come here like that we are arranging and at the end all these multiples of 10 will be kept at the end so this is the optimized approach here and if you see we have avoided uh, using an extra uh, these spaces so this way uh, the space complexity previously was having almost like 2n and now that is reduced to order of 1 okay so this is the optimized approach for this question let's move on to the next question okay uh, second question for hiring a car uh, travel agency charges r1 rupees for the per hour for the first n hours okay then r2 rupees and the given total time is minutes in x the task is to find out the traveling cost in rupees while converting minutes into our ceiling value should be considered as the num total number okay okay got it so for suppose let's suppose uh i have taken a maybe a, a bike a rent bike sorry it's a car right? sorry I, I taken a car for rent so of course so and so agency the travel agency has uh, give, uh, give me the price uh, what you call the amount that they'll charge in the uh, amount of hours that i'll be using so ideally they have kept that if i use for r1 hours i mean up to r1 hours the price will be uh, somewhere uh, i guess uh, n yeah price will be n per hour till less than or equal to r1 okay if I cross that R1, then the next uh, whatever uh, the hours that I will be using, that will be X per hour charges will be there. Uh, there is no limit here. So, ideally, the condition will be here is, um, if suppose I have traveled, suppose um, A amount of, let's not, uh, let's take, uh, yeah, let's take this example itself. So, it's 300, which is minutes and they have kept that minutes to be converted into hours and we have to keep, uh, take the ceiling value so uh, 300 by x uh, sorry 300 by minutes that is 60 which is equal to 5 hours okay but if it comes under any point it will be squared off to the next decimal value that is 2 okay so for the 5 hours that means n is given as 4 means 
till fourth hour. Till fourth hour, they are gonna charge me twenty rupees per hour. Okay, and for the fifth hour, because I have left one more, so which is five minus four, that is one hour. For this one hour, they are gonna charge the R two amount because it is exceeded the first end, uh, the end limit. That is here for the R two, they have kept forty per hour is the charge. Now twenty per hour. Into this number because that many hours into this number into one, so uh, two four zero uh, eight and forty one twenty yes, so this is the output we got. So ideal condition here uh, as per the brute force if we see, let me just scroll up, yeah, uh, we can see in this way hmm, okay, so we can. We can declare two cost maybe. Um, cost to calculate. Uh, let's not like try to do a brute force because this seems like a proper mathematical problem. Let's try to solve this in a mathematical way. So ideally, like we the cost should be n into r one, correct? But. Uh, This should be minimum of n into sorry. Ah, uh, let me clearly write this. So if total hours is less than n, then maybe less than equal to then total into um. Uh, what is the first one? R one. Yes. Else, total will be uh, the return will be n into R one because that is what completely will be utilized. Next will be total minus n into R two. Right. This is the uh, exact condition that we gonna uh, write in the code. Mm, let me try to optimize this further. Mm. If total total into R one, yeah, I guess this seems correct. Um, because if we take any other variables like uh, count one or cost two or whatever the name of the variable, and we just keep iterating and we just keep that, uh, like if it reaches till the end hour, then we do plus plus, and if it crosses, then we add that additional R two. That's gonna take more space and time considerably, but this seems to be the optimized way. Where we are just uh, using two condition. If its total is less than, then we just keep total. Else, we'll keep this into uh, total minus R into R. Let's try this. Let's create a new file. Um, car agency. Okay, what we have input here? R one, which is twenty. And n equal to four, r two equal to forty, and the next is x minimum travel is three hundred. Okay. Now what we did first, if let's take maybe total hours equal to x divided by sixty, but they have mentioned it should be a ceiling value. So uh, for Python we have a seal. Uh, Method inbuilt, which is there in math. So maybe I'll use that math dot c. For other languages, I'll just attach the code in the description. You can go through how exactly this to be written in both the codes to be written in Java and C plus plus as well. So we have total hours equal to math dot c. So we have total hours. So and the condition that we discuss is if total hours is less than equal to n, then it should print. Total hours into R one. Else, print n into R one plus total hours minus R one. Sorry, minus n into R two. Okay. Let's try to execute this. One twenty. Yep. So maybe we'll take one more example. If we take x as four hundred, 
so x has 400 in the sense 400 by 60 which is so ideally it will be like um, 4 uh, 3 4 5 5 6 so round figure 7 hours ok um, then what will be the output here 200 let's try to debug this as well so how we got 200 for the first uh, sorry for the first 4 kilometer 4 hours it will be 20 so 20 into 4 80 and uh, we need to find uh, we got 200 right so we need to find the remaining 120 so for the next we have total 7 right so first 4 7 minus 4 3 3 into uh, r2 is 4 40 3 for the 2 120 yes so this 120 and this one uh, 80 total resulted in 200 which is our output okay so this is the way we can uh, solve both the questions uh, i'll attach as i said i'll attach in both java and c++ in the description for both the questions that's it for the, uh, today's video guys i'll uh, we'll soon start a coding marathon as well where in single video we'll be having almost like five questions at once and uh, it will be completely previous year nqt and sample questions as well that is an under process and we'll upload that soon okay um, thank you